I'm Scott. Welcome to my home and my kitchen. I've had several emails lately asking me for recipes that you can use when entertaining with wine and beer, like a light supper sort of menu. Um, small plates, they're really popular now. Tapas restaurants are very popular now. And this recipe is delicious, really simple. It has, I think, four ingredients, including salt and pepper. You really should give it a try. And what it is, it's an onion tart. And we start with two really large red onions. And when I say large, they were the size of softballs. If you can't find really large ones, look for just about a pound and a quarter worth of red onions. And slice those in half and then really thin so you get sort of half moons. I'm gonna use some dry thyme, salt and pepper, olive oil, and what makes this really delicious and easy is we're using puff pastry. So before you start anything, take your puff pastry out of the refrigerator or out of the freezer and let that sit at room temperature until we're ready to use it. And also preheat your oven to 425. So in a large skillet, in the largest one that you have, what we want to do is add about five tablespoons or so of a nice olive oil. We're going to heat that over a medium high heat until you just start to see the ripples in the oil. Then the onions go right in. And let's use about a pinch of thyme. And before I put it in, I'm going to kind of grind that between my fingers. That, that just sort of releases some of their flavor. I'm going to put another pinch in. And about a teaspoon of kosher salt or sea salt and half a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. We're just going to combine these with the oil. And once you start to hear a really nice sizzle, we want to reduce the heat so they cook over a long period of time. And that's really going to give these onions a chance to develop their natural sweetness. Onions have a really high sugar content. And if you don't burn them, if you don't crank up the heat and try to cook them really fast, but lower the heat really low and let them cook over a long period of time, they really get a nice sweet flavor and you're not gonna have that strong onion flavor that you associate with them. Also by using the red onion, that gives it a little milder flavor. If you're in the US, Vidalia onions are delicious and can be substituted in this recipe. So I'm gonna let this oil come up just to a nice sizzle and then reduce the temperature. Okay, we can really hear that these onions are starting to cook but we do not want any brownness on these. So I'm turning the heat down to just below a medium. And these are gonna cook for about 15 to 20 minutes, like I said earlier, to really let those natural sweet flavors develop in the onions. And you'll see when we get done with this, it gets really nice and soft. So I'm just gonna let those sit on the stove. In the meantime, what I've done is taken out a cookie sheet and lined that with a sill pad. That's a silicon mat that's oven safe. It works great. If you don't have a sill pad, you can use parchment paper, but you need some sort of lining on this. And then our box of puff pastry, they come with two sheets. So we want to remo remove one sheet and put the other one back in the freezer for later use. And on our board, we just want to take a little bit of flour, and that's just going to prevent this puff pastry from sticking when we get ready to work with it. A little bit on our hands and just gently unfold this pastry. And I'm going to let this sit at right here on the flour for about five minutes, just so it comes nice and comes to a nice room temperature. The onions have gotten nice and wilted, which is exactly what we want. They probably have about another five minutes. So I'm going to turn the heat up to about a medium, just over a medium to a medium high, and let those just continue to cook while we work on our puff pastry. This has come nicely to room temperature on the floured surface. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn these edges over about a quarter of an inch. All the way around. You could roll this puff pastry out and cut it out in the shape of a circle, um, a pizza essentially. Um, but I feel like that kind of wastes a lot of the dough, which I don't really like doing. So I'm just going to make a square tart. And by raising this over, it's going to give us just a little bit of an edge to hold the, um, the onions in. And push down those corners just a little bit. And then we're going to transfer this right over to our sill pad. And once you get it there, just kind of stand these edges up just a little bit. They don't have to be perfectly upright, but just, just slightly. 
when it starts to rise, you'll see it gives a nice color to the crust. Um, and I've also taken one 15 ounce can of black olives. You could use Kalamata olives. I just use regular black ripe olives. Drain those in a colander, and they're going to go on top of our onion mixture once we get it onto the tart crust. Okay. The onions are perfect. They're nicely wilted. There's no brown color, which is exactly what we want. So I'm going to switch to a pair of tongs and just transfer these onions onto our crust. We're going to spread those out evenly. And you want the mixture to, to layer this about a quarter of an inch high. We got the onions completely layered onto our tart crust. And I'm just going to take our black olives and just sprinkle them around. You want everybody to get a few in their piece. You might not use the entire can. If not, just save them in an airtight container in the refrigerator, put them on a salad or something like that. So we have it all ready to go in. It's going into the oven. We're going to keep an eye on it um, for 20 to 25 minutes. The timer just went off. It's been 20 minutes and mine is looking absolutely perfect. Depending on your oven, it might have to go another five minutes. But what you're looking for is a nice golden brown crust and for the olives to have just started to wilt. So I'm going to let this cool off for just about five minutes, then I'll show you the plate presentation. The tarts cooled just slightly, so what I'm going to do is get it over here onto our serving platter. And I'm going to use a spatula just to slide it right off. And this is one of the reasons when I make this, I use a baking sheet with no rim, because it just slides right off. Just a little helpful tip. So that's going to go over here. Now with a pizza wheel, I'm going to cut this into little wedges. And you don't really want to serve huge pieces of this because the flavor is intense. I mean, it's definitely sweet, but it's probably not really good for a main, like a main item on a plate. All right, so we're just going to get this onto our dish. And there you have it. It's an onion tart. This goes great with a nice salad dressed with a balsamic vinaigrette and crumbled goat cheese. It's absolutely delicious. You could also take the same tart and right before it's finished in the oven, Take it out, sprinkle it with some crumbled goat cheese, put it back in, let that cheese melt slightly, and serve it. It's really good. Um, you can also substitute the onions in this recipe with leeks. Buy the leeks, wash them well, slice them um, into little rings like we did with the onions, and cook it in the same manner. It's an absolutely delicious small plate. Goes great with a glass of wine. So as always, thanks so much for watching. And please feel free to email me at scottindenver at msn.com should you want to make a comment about the show or ask me to prepare a particular recipe for you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.